Hi, this is Vijay Kumar from Dynatech in Bangalore. I would like to present a method of measuring the axial strain in a bolt. In order to measure the axial strain, strain gauges have to be bonded to the shank of the bolt. The arrangement of the strain gauges is shown in this sketch. Two gauges are aligned to the axis of the shank and two gauges along the circumference. These gauges are then interconnected as shown in the diagram here to form a full Wheatstone bridge which can be connected to a measuring instrument. But to ensure that the gauges and the interconnecting wires are not damaged during the test, some modifications to the bolt are necessary. The shank diameter is reduced by turning to make space for the strain gauges and the wires. Gauges can be bonded on the reduced diameter, two along the axis and two gauges bonded perpendicular to the axis. To take the lead wires out to a measuring instrument, small holes are drilled in the shank of the bolt as shown. The lead wires can then be taken through the hole to the top face of the bolt, from where additional lead wires can be taken to a strain indicator. The strain gauges and the lead wires need to be covered with a protective coating to prevent damage during testing. Here is the bolt with the strain gauges bonded and interconnected, protective coating applied and with additional lead wires attached to connect the gauges to a micro measurements model P3 strain indicator and recorder. As the bolt is now tightened, the strain on the bolt is shown on the display of the P3 strain indicator. 